So I just found out about Drop 45 Lane. Did you know about this, you guys? Because I sure didn't. It's an archeological site found at the Great Lakes. I didn't know this, but I guess the Great Lakes aren't super ancient. They're younger than Stonehenge, which means that humans were living and present in this region before these lakes even existed. And were also there while these lakes were actively forming, which is kind of nuts to think about. And before the lakes were formed, the area was kind of like this boggy tundra where humans hunted, lived, and traded across thousands of miles. The problem is, today, the land around the Great Lakes is so acidic that anything that ever existed more than a thousand years ago has completely disintegrated by now. But inside these lakes, it's a different story. The water of the Great Lakes is like the ash in Pompeii. It preserves everything and keeps everything intact. So underwater archaeologists have found entire homes, tools, and hunting gear left untouched for millennia. 120 feet below Lake Huron surface, and that site is called Drop 45 Lake. It shows evidence of some of the earliest humans to live in this area, but also opened up a whole can of worms and mystery about this place. For example, the first what the heck moment came from the artifacts themselves. A lot of these artifacts were rock tools like arrowheads and spears that were made out of different stones and obsidian. The thing is, the chemical composition of the volcanic glass that this obsidian is made from indicates that it's coming from a mountainous region in Oregon, more than 2,500 miles away on the complete opposite side of the country, implying that there was a massive cross-country trade network more than 10,000 years ago. This alone made archaeologists scratch their head and raise a lot of questions about who these people were. Then it gets more intriguing. The reason why it's called the Drop 45 Drive Lane is because they literally found like this stone lane or driveway underneath the water. They found this stone lined lane that the hunters would use to lure animals towards them. It was kind of like a trap. This was already a really exciting find to just see this formation, but then archaeologists got even more excited because then they realized where they had seen this before. Up until this point, this hunting technique was only found in the Arctic. So what was it doing all the way in North America? And then underwater archaeologists find this, what they are naming a Stonehenge-like structure under Lake Michigan. I think I'm gonna have to do a separate video on that. 